Hi, I'm going to share something that the Lord revealed to me today um, while I was working. All right, um, this won't be popular, of course, but this channel is here to help women who are serious about following Jesus. It's to help y'all grow. All right, um, we should be growing into the full maturity of Jesus Christ. All right, so now is not the time to get offended. Okay, um, if you're always walking in offense, like, which is of the flesh and pride, then you're never going to get to grow. You know what I mean? Like, now is the time to reflect on your mistakes and learn and grow from them, all right? Not beat yourself up and, and run and keep doing the same thing. So, I just wanted to make that clear. This is about helping women become... Um, disciples of Jesus okay discipleship this is what it is and so anyway I was um, just really deep in thought because I've been really studying the past couple days about you know true discipleship versus like false disciples because there are some in the Bible um, and I'll get into that later maybe <laughs> anyway and so the Lord was just like shed some light on something that really made a lot of sense. And, you know, I used to fall into this trap as well. So if this is you or this was you, please don't beat yourself up. You know, this is a time to learn from it and, um, you know, change, you know, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. So anyway, there are a lot of teachings on YouTube, false teachings, of course, that teach you that, um, you know, we got to, or we should, you know, give up all this stuff, or maybe it's something or a person, whatever it is, give up something for the Lord, so that way he will give us back bigger and better, okay? So we're giving up that thing or that person, because God, you're going to give me, give me something else, right? It's going to be so much better than this. So he brought that to the light, and he showed me that that heart motive behind it was wrong. He showed me that when he asks us to give something up, okay, whether it's a thing or a person, whatever it is, okay, it's an idol, I don't know, okay, we shouldn't be giving it up and expecting something in return. We're supposed to be, when we have a right heart towards God, okay, we give things up out of obedience because we love him, okay? A right heart that's truly after God is going to give things up when he tells us to because we love him, we respect him, we fear him, and we honor him, okay? Because we show him that we love him by our obedience, okay? It's not about what we can get from him. God is not a genie. And so he was showing me the difference between the heart. And I was just like, wow. Because that was so many chances. I was always, I was shown that too. I was shown, oh, we're supposed to give something up. So he could, no, no. When Jesus is Lord over our life, we give up the self. Remember, Jesus said, you know, those who do not, you know, pick up their cross, deny themselves, you know, follow him, basically. <laughs> I don't have it word for word. Anyway, you know, are not worthy of him. And then there's this verse, okay? This is another one. Second Corinthians 13, 5. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Or do you not realize this about yourselves, that Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you fail to meet the test? You see, it's Christ in us. We're not doing things to try and make God give us something. Like, it doesn't work like that. And it's not all about our wants, you know? Um, there's another verse, Mark 8, 36. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? What are you trying to gain? Seriously, God has already done so much for us. He's given us Jesus, the greatest treasure of all, and the gift of the Holy Spirit, 
okay? What more could we ask from him? I mean, he's already given us so much. Now, this isn't to say that God can't give us anything, God won't give us anything, or that God isn't going to give us bigger and better, because sometimes he does, you know, if it's his will for our lives. But who is Lord over your life? Is it truly Jesus? Are you really seeking to be in a relationship with the Lord, not out of what he can give you, but because of who he is? Okay? Or is it all about me, 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 me? Because most of these channels are going to be really focused on what they can get from God. Okay? And also that scripture, he will give you the desires of your heart. Okay? That is one that is, you know, talked about a lot. Or that you got to do all this stuff to get a breakthrough. No. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all its righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Okay? So God's going to add in his timing whatever he wants. Okay? Sometimes we get what we want. Sometimes we don't. But if he, he also was saying this. Okay? If he doesn't give you what you want, will you still love him? Will you? Or will you get up and leave or seek after the pleasures or things of this world? Is Jesus not enough for us? You have to sit there and ask yourself that if you find yourself wanting more and more and more because that is not coming from God. When you're content, when you're really focused and satisfied in him, you won't want anything else. Just him. So when we pray these prayers, his will be done. Your will be done. It's his will, not ours. Okay? This is what it means to truly follow him and to have a heart after God. So I think that was it on what I was yeah, shown and he wanted me to share if I think of anything else I'll come back on here um, again we, we've got to grow we can't be stuck in baby mode okay um, this is this is all about the narrow path and the narrow teaching um, Jesus you know came to teach so who are you living for? Are you living for the world or are you living for God? How, how is your heart? You know, we got to examine ourselves and um, just ask the Lord.